This sweet old rich lady is giving her husband a Milberg Periscope. Says here that Edwina Windham is giving the legendary Windham Manor to the local troop. Maybe you can hit her up for a chili burger, Joe. And the house has a legend to it, too. There's supposed to be a fortune in cash hidden somewhere in it. <laughs> Let me see that. And people always say there's nothing but bad news in the papers. Just like they always say there's nothing but rocks in your head. Nah, I guess they're wrong on both counts. You wouldn't know good news if it hit you in the nose. But this is good news. And I knew it was. And it didn't even have to hit me in the nose. <laughs> I got more good news for you, Joe. You're joining the Bear Scouts. Oh. If this old bag's got loot hidden in the house, we're gonna find it before the Bear Scouts move in, see? Ah, but we are Bear Scouts, boss. No, Joe. We're only pretending to be Bear Scouts. Just like you're gonna pretend to have at least half a brain! I gotcha, Mr. Big. You're supposed to be the Bear Scoutmaster. Get in front of me. Let's Joe rub it off on you. Sorry, boss. I saw you boys coming up the drive. Couldn't wait to see the future home of the Melbourne Bear Scouts troop, eh? Ah, that's right, lady. That's because we're Bear Scouts. Not Lion Scouts, not Tiger Scouts, not Bluebells, not Bonfire Girls. We're Bear Scouts. We're definitely... You gotta excuse Joe. He's new at this Bear Scout business. And already so many merit badges. Yeah, he's a fast laner, all right. And aren't you a big boy? I'm a big Bear Scout. You boys sit right down, and I'll bring you some cookies and milk. Uh, actually, Bear Scoutmaster Spike here wanted to case... I mean, check out the house to get an idea how we scouts can best use it. Ain't that right, Scoutmaster Spike? We Bear Scouts never lie. Well, by all means, feel free to explore. I'll just continue packing. You know, I'm moving out in a few days. Yeah, we know all about it. Are you loony or what? But, boss, you told me to pretend. Let's start looking for that loot. That's the first good idea either of you had since we left our video game world. Only I got a way to speed up the search. The loot's probably stashed somewhere in one of these walls in a secret panel or something. What are you guys waiting for, an invitation? Well, a Bear Scout Fink, I think breaking through that wall to make our meeting room large would be a good idea. What are you talking about? What, whatever are you doing, young man? Just a little redecorating, lady. I want my merit badge in redecorating. Well... I'm certain it wasn't for neatness. Look, lady, just let us check things out or I'll practice tying you in knots, okay? You certainly could use some lessons in good manners. Those explosions sounded like a sonic boom to me. It was more like a dragon landing. That's probably it, Kuros. Milberg's just loaded with dragons. Remember that dinosaur that Mr. Big... Speaking of Mr. Big... Mr. Big's limo. I was worried when that newspaper article talked about the legend of Wyndham Manor. I'm more worried about the dude finding out where we live. Bigfoot, let's move out. <laughs> 
Hyrule's right. Bigfoot will approach from the rear of Wyndham Manor. Let's be careful, men. Old Mrs. Wyndham is all alone in that house with Mr. Big and his gang. take you up on that offer of a cup of tea. Oh, goody! I love making tea. This is the end of the game, Mr. Big. Hand over our game cartridges. It's time for all of us to step back to our game world. And you're going first, Slobber Face. Tell me, Tomato, here I come. No problem. I was getting sick of this white world anyway. Careful, Big. One wrong move, an iron sword will zap you so hard you'll warp right through your game into a mental zone. Get him! The power team will be right back after these messages. The Sega Genesis game system with arcade quality graphics and 16-bit power at a new lower price of $149.99 will make you jump for joy. You'll save $40 off the original price on one of the hottest game systems in town at the world's biggest video game store. Sonny didn't know which door to open. He only had half a map. I've got it. Both doors lead to Coco Puffs. Wow! Yeah! There are some things very chocolatey down here. Oh, wow! It's Coco Puffs. Oh, those chocolatey puffs. And they're crunchy, too. Yahoo! It's the great tasting part of our complete breakfast. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yum, yum. There's more. You can get a coupon for a free Nestle's Punch Bar inside mock boxes of Coco Puffs. Boys and his friends are serving up laughs five days a week. And there's no telling what's on the menu next. Me, me. I would just love a duck dinner. Let's have it. So don't miss one delicious episode of Merry Melody starring Bugs Bunny and Friends. Weekday afternoons at 3.30. Bart! Go to bed. Sure thing, Dad. It's Bart versus the Space Mutants for your hey, NES. Only Bart Simpson can save the Earth. Bart! Okay, <laughs> Get the Simpsons game for your NES from a claim. Double Dragon 3, the ultimate in NES martial arts action continues with all new weapons, characters, and street fighting moves against the world's most awesome villains. Double Dragon 3 from a claim. The action keeps coming. And now back to the power team. our game packs.
Give us back our gay packs. Give us back our gay packs. This guy must have been fighting baby dragons back where he came from. I got him! I got him! I got him! Great work. Next, you can take on a hockey puck. I heard the explosion. Where's Mr. Big? And hey, where's Max Force? Mr. Big and his men escaped. As for Max Force, we better go see if he's okay. Why don't you bring him a nice cookie? They always make me feel better. Gee, you think Mrs. Wyndham will be all right along? We gave her Johnny's phone number, little dude. If Mr. Big tries to come back, she'll call. And we're sure to hear if there are more cigar rockets going off. We're only a block of... Huh? What's wrong? Uh, nothing. I... I think I better go make sure she's got the right number. I gave her the right number. I know. I just want to double check. She probably wants some more of those cookies Mrs. Wyndham gave us. Let's go shoot some hoops first. Mm -hmm. The woman does make good cookies. The rest of the team will laugh at me if they know I lost my utility belt. I'll just find it myself, and no one will ever know I lost it. Back so soon? You must want some more cookies. Actually, I lost something when we were chasing off those villains. I wonder if you'd let me look for it. Why, of course. I'm really sorry about what happened to your living room. Nonsense. Look what I found in one of the walls those nasty fellas blew up. I hid them in the wall years ago, but I never could quite remember which wall. I'm going to the bank with these, so I'll just leave you to look for whatever you lost. That utility belt has to be here somewhere. If I could just remember where I was when it came loose. I was standing here. Mr. Big was shooting cigars at us. The chandelier fell and I... It must have ripped loose when I fell through that hole. There it is! And here we are! Nice to see you again. Too bad you're all alone. Whoa. I heard something. It's Mr. Big. He went back. Take the back way and get over there fast, guys. After him, Joe! Me and Spike will take the stand. Got a fancy belt. I have to work fast before they find me. Oh, Max! Oh, Max Force! Where are you hiding? I got a feeling a clean guy like our Max Force would hide behind. <laughs> Use the belt, Joe! Uh, how does these things work? I don't know, just try one of them!
Dragons back where I come from, huh? one-on-one against those dudes, huh? I'm glad you all showed up, I can tell you that. Thanks. I can't lie to you, you're my friends. Huh? I didn't come back here to see if Mrs. Wyndham had the right phone number. I came back because I lost my utility belt earlier when we were fighting Mr. Big. Why didn't you tell us? We would have come and helped you find it. Where are your friends? I didn't want to look dumb. I guess the dumb thing was not telling you I lost it in the first place. I ended up putting myself and all of you in a tight spot. Nothing we couldn't handle, dude. Hey, you're the big game winner here. How do you figure? See, the beautiful thing about making a mistake is when you learn from it. You turn something bad into something good. Thanks. Thanks, guys, for understanding. No charge! <laughs> now, let's continue that basketball game. I was ahead 12 to 4. No way! I was beating you 10 to 6! Yeah, yeah, yeah. You couldn't beat a drum, you little... <laughs> Video Power will be right back. <laughs> 